click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends welcome back to the subject of machine design one we are right now solving a numerical on the design of hollow shaft in the last part we have figured out the bending moment and the torsional moment acting on the given shaft in today's session we are going to design the shaft so friends we need to consider the maximum principal stress theory or maximum shear stress theory let us consider both of them and let us see which of them is more suitable for our case so in this case we already have figured out this equation you can refer to the earlier session where the formula are described where this is the bending moment and this is the torsional moment where c is the factor we have been given and outer diameter is what we need to figure out So if I substitute the values on bending moment and other, which makes if we solve this particular equation, we have only one unknown with us that is the outer diameter because the C factor is already given. We know that the maximum allowable value of the normal stress or any strength is nothing but one twenty six point six seven considering factor of safety. If I substitute the value back, I'll get the unknown D naught is equal to somewhere equal to forty eight point seven three newton. But that is not a preferred series, so let us go for the preferred series, which comes out to be 50 millimeter. So outer diameter, which is 50 millimeter, in case if the inner diameter, we already know this relation, and therefore with this value substituting, we'll get D naught somewhere equal to 30 millimeter. So there we come out with the design part, and these are the design diameters for the given case, considering maximum shear stress theory. Let's move ahead. and considering maximum shear stress theory for the given case we have this expression with us where we can substitute the formula which becomes but we already know that the allowable value is somewhere around 63.33 newton per millimeter square if i substitute this value back in this equation we will get the value of diameter d not which is the only unknown in our case somewhere around millimeter now we again know this relation that Inner diameter and outer diameter is 0.6. We can substitute this value back, but before that, let us go for the preferred value. So let us say for this particular thing, 52 millimeter is the preferred value of the outer diameter. If we substitute it back, we'll get the value somewhere around 31.2 millimeter for the inner diameter. So that is what the calculation part is all about. But now we have got two sets of values for inner diameter and outer diameter. So for fi the final selection, upon comparing two theories, final design says that the outer, the final diameter, which is outer one and the inner one, are based on this particular logic. Let us try to understand this. We know that the outer diameter is inversely proportional to the maximum shear stress, and it is inversely proportional to the maximum theory. so in that case if the more the value of diameter i have safer will be my component if smaller the value i have it will not be safe and that's why i'll go for the greater values of the considered values which we know that outer diameter is 52 mm and the inner diameter is somewhere around 30.2 mm so this is what the final solution for my problem which are safe and that is how the design part is done for the hollow shafts if there was a condition which was describing the rigidity also we would have continued this problem to solve the rigidity concept also and then accordingly we could have three sets of inner diameter and outer diameter which upon comparison we would have selected for the final solution thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to ekeda thank you